According to Surah 7 verse 132, they said, No matter what kind of sign you bring us to bewitch us, we will not believe in you. In the face of that obstinacy, God visited a number of disasters on them so they could have a taste of suffering while still in this world. The first of these was drought and scarcity of crops. We seized Pharaoh's people with years of drought and scarcity of fruits so that hopefully they would pay heed. The Egyptians had based their agricultural system on the Nile, for which reason changes in natural conditions did not affect them. However, the arrogance of Pharaoh and his close circles towards God and their refusal to recognize his prophet led to a totally unexpected disaster being inflicted on them. In all probability, Water levels in the river Nile dropped enormously for various reasons, and the irrigation canals from the river were unable to carry enough water to the fields. Extreme heat led to crops drying up. In this way, Pharaoh and his prominent followers encountered a disaster stemming from a most unexpected source the River Nile itself. Surah 43 verse 51 reveals how this catastrophe dismayed Pharaoh who previously used to call to his people saying, My people, does the kingdom of Egypt not belong to me? Do not all these rivers flow under my control? Do you not then see? Yet that was not the end of their problems. In fact, it was only the beginning. A whole string of other disasters followed the drought and the failure of the crops. These consisted, as the Quran tells us, of floods, locusts, frogs, and blood. Despite all these things that had happened to them, Pharaoh and his people still refused to take the advice given to them and turn to God. In other words, they remained fixed in their arrogance. Yet that would not last long. Since Pharaoh still refused to accept the might of God, despite everything that had happened, God told the prophet Musa to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. They obeyed the prophet Musa and set out with him to leave Egypt. But Pharaoh could not accept their departure without his permission. He therefore gathered his army together and set out to follow the children of Israel. Pharaoh and his army caught up with the children of Israel just as they reached the sea. When the children of Israel saw this, some of them began to rise up against the prophet Musa. According to the Old Testament, they said, Why did you take us away from our homeland? There we were slaves, but we could lead our lives. Now we will die. The Quran describes that weakness of theirs in these words.
And when the two hosts came into sight of one another, Musa's companion said, We will surely be overtaken. According to Surah 26, verse 62, the Prophet Musa reassured those people who were afraid they would be recaptured, saying, Never. My Lord is with me and he will guide me. At that point, God again showed his support for the Prophet Musa. What happened next is described in the Quran. So we revealed to Musa, strike the sea with your staff, and it split in two, each part like a towering cliff, and we brought the others right up to it. We rescued Musa and all those who were with him. Then we drowned the rest. There is certainly a sign in that, yet most of them do not believe. Truly your Lord is the Almighty, the Most Merciful. Quran 26, 63-68 As Pharaoh and his men began to enter the sea, God miraculously closed the waters over their heads. The Quran states that as Pharaoh realized that he was about to die, he stated that he believed in God. When he was on the point of drowning, he, Pharaoh, said, I believe that there is no God but him in whom the tribe of Israel believe. I am one of the Muslims. Quran 10 90. Yet Pharaoh and his army were not saved from drowning. This fact is reported in the verses thus. What, now? When previously you rebelled and were one of the corruptors? Today we will preserve your body so you can be a sign for people who come after you. Surely many people are heedless of our signs. Quran 10, 91-92 So God exacted retribution from them and drowned them in the sea because they rejected His signs and failed to take warning from them. Following Pharaoh's violent death, the people of Israel set out for the land promised them by God. And we bequeathed to the people who had been oppressed the easternmost part of the land we had blessed, and its westernmost part as well. The most excellent word of your Lord was fulfilled for the tribe of Israel on account of their steadfastness. As we have seen, historical and archaeological discoveries regarding the peoples mentioned in the Quran reveal once more that the Quran is the Word of God. People must learn from what befell these peoples and look for means to draw closer to God. Only in that way can they hope to be successful in the hereafter. <laughs>